welcome to Light Waves by Todd Herbert. If you enjoy views of flashlights, rechargeable lanterns, and other portable light sources, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us, we have the Phoenix E03R. This is a Type C rechargeable multi mode keychain flashlight. I picked this up off Amazon for $12.25.99. Let's check it out. Now, this one just came out for me. A uh, really cool flashlight. I was digging the features on it. Let's go over them. So on the front here, it says all metal keychain flashlight. I really like this. I want to show you that and compare it to some others. Um, there's the flashlight itself down here. Uh, we got weight charging type C. Uh, white and red LED sources. That's pretty nice. You're going to like that. I'll show it to you. Limited lifetime warranty. Uh, 42 meter throw, 260 lumens. Pretty neat. I'll zoom in the back here. There's a lot of information on the package, and that's why I'm taking my time with it. There's the outputs. They got high, medium, low, eco mode, your red mode, and your red flashing mode. Gives you all that. We'll talk about that. The waterproof rating. Okay, there you go. Uh, it talks about the little snippet there, talking about the capacity of the battery, the max output, all that fun stuff. There's some dimensions for you, which again, I'll go over. And what comes here now, we're just going to take the flashlight out, but it comes with a little key ring, information leaflet. It says user manual and warranty card. I'm leaving that stuff in there, but I'll take the flashlight out. Serial number side here. Uh, this five and a half hour rating, that's usually the lowest uh, setting, but that's actually matches the red mode. I don't know why they didn't use the 18 hour from the eco mode, but they use the red. So there we go. All right. So let's go ahead and take it out of there. Take that little dude out. Now, getting this out of the package is such a bear. Let's see if I can do it on camera. I know I had one heck of a time. There we go. <laughs> when I was opening that up, I did not want you getting that little guy out. So there it is. I'm going to zoom this down. Let's go over some dimensions. Wow. <laughs> These little guys are great. This is a nice sized one, too. Uh, so dimensions. Let's go ahead and we'll just turn it here. We have a length of 1 and 7 eighths of an inch, or 47 millimeters. We have a width of 7 eighths of an inch, or 24 millimeters. And we have a thickness, or depth, of 7 sixteenths of an inch, or 12 millimeters. There you go. It's pretty awesome. Let's do a size comparison. We'll keep it right in the middle. Let's bring in, I don't know, an Olight. This is a this is the I1R2 EOS. Love all those letters they put in there. Um, look at that. It's the same size, pretty much, as, as far as the length goes. Loving that. That's pretty sweet. Next, uh, the main competitor in price and everything is the Nikkor tip. As you can see, it is Nikkor tip's larger. Uh, it does sport a higher capacity battery at 500 milliamp hours versus 200. And we'll go over some of that. But uh, I thought we are going to compare those two together because they're in the same price point. Next, we have a little AAA battery. Give you an idea for battery size versus this little guy. Look at that. Loving it. And then let's bring over a AA. There you go. You get an idea. I always like to do these little size comparisons. Let's bring that out. Let me bring this up a little bit. And I'll do a, like the cards here. Iron Man. That is cool. Really liking this flashlight. Now the Nikkor, um, I just showed you here, uh, they had an SE version, which is two LED also, but it's two white LED. So if you guys are wondering how they compare, uh, in the future I'll probably do a little comparison uh, when I review the SE version. Uh, but yeah, it'll have two LEDs, but they're just two white LEDs for extra brightness, uh, not dual purpose like this one is. I thought I'd tell you real quick. The score features this little guy, the E03R. Okay, on the front here, you'll notice it's got TIR optics, total internal reflection. You have to with these short little throws, uh, those little lenses to get the max output. Uh, you have two LEDs there. I believe this one here um, to the uh, left here is a match CA18 white LED. Not much information. I did some searching on the web, couldn't find a ton, but uh, when I was using it, it has a cool white cast, slight blue tint to it, just ever so slightly. I would rate it between 6,000 or 6,500 Kelvin, and probably a CR index of around the mid 70s. They rate these LEDs at 50,000 hours, both of them. Next to it, uh, we have the second LED. That is an Everlight 2835 red LED. Uh, they rate that at 50,000 hour lifespan. Uh, cool company, Everlight. They do a lot of horticulture, horticulture, I say that right, uh, for growing plants and that, and they use these red. Uh, nanometer LEDs to grow plants and, and do different things with uh, 
with the uh, growing gardens and things. Pretty cool. All right, so next, um, this body's awesome. If you look, there's no seams to it. It all loads in through the front, I guess, when they build it. This is a CNC machined aluminum alloy body with type 3 hard anodized finish. Really digging that. My life, my wife likes this flashlight too, just because of its size. Um, and she likes this probably the all metal casing. It does look tough and durable. Um, loving that. Here we have a metal power switch. And it has a uh, status indicator too in the middle. And when you press it, It'll tell you the charge status of the light of the flashlight itself and the battery. And it's right now it's a full charge. When it's solid green like that, that means 100 to 70%. If it's flashing green, it's 70 to 40%. If it's solid red when you push that, it's 40 to 10%. And if it's flashing red, it's 10 to 1%. Um, when you're charging this, this solid red and goes to solid green when it's done charging. So that's kind of cool. Uh, so operating the flashlight. Um, there's different modes, and we'll talk about that in a moment. Let's just look at everything else. We got a little lanyard spot there on the back. They don't give you a lanyard, it'd be nice, just the keyring. And here we have a USB port, uh, Type C. So there you go, Type C rechargeable. Um, they don't include the cable in the first version. This is the first version. I just got this, and this is like brand new, just came on the market. They said on their website after August 20th, 2020, all orders will have a USB cable included with the packaging. So that's nice to know. Thought I'd mention that to you real quick. So you don't have to buy one with an extra cable. Um, it's supposed to be included with the flashlight after that date. If you buy one after that date, it doesn't come with the cable, um, call your, your seller and say, hey, I want my cable for free. So they'll have to send you one. All right, so what else can we talk about? So inside here is that battery. It's a 200 milliamp hour lithium battery. And uh, charge time takes about one and a half hours. This has overheat protection. The light will automatically step down to reduce temperature. It's usually that high mode, and it has a low voltage warning. Uh, which will, this will actually downshift, so as the voltage drops on the battery, your high will go down to medium and the medium to low, then down to eco. And once it's in eco mode, uh, the red LED will start flashing on here, but it'll continue to stay lit on eco mode until the light's completely depleted. So that's nice. It's not like you're going to be like, it's not going to just turn off when it decides to. It's going to wait till there's no battery power left. <laughs> that's a neat setup. It's IP66 rated, dustproof, rainproof, not submersible. I did notice there was a symbol on the packaging that showed submersion, but that's not the case with this one. IP66, I looked it up, means dustproof and rainproof, but not submersion. Uh, one meter drop resistance, awesome. So let's go to the garage and see what this looks like in action. I got some pictures I took. We'll talk about those, and then we'll come back and we'll do a little demo. We'll bring in the tip here, and we'll see how they compare side by side and give you some ideas how I like using these. There we go. All right, let's go to the garage. So this first picture, I am 15 feet away from my garage door. The flashlight is on high, 260 lumens. Um, this is pretty awesome, pretty bright. Uh, it will run 45 minutes, but this time includes throttling. Uh, it's a 42 meter throw. This next picture with a medium, 80 lumens. You can expect one and a quarter hour runtime. It's a 25 meter throw. Next picture here is on low. This is 30 lumens. This will run three hours. It has a 16 meter throw. I found this low setting to be my favorite. And then this last one here on the white mode, the eco mode is five lumens. This will run 18 hours and has a seven meter throw. Now on the red LED mode, this, will, this is four lumens. This will run five and a half hours and has a 10 meter throw. Four lumens with red it really makes a big difference in a dark room. Uh, amazing. I'm loving this setup. So let's go back to the table. Da, 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 da. All right, so let's do a little demo. What I'm going to do is turn off the lights. And we're going to bring an Iron Man here. I'm going to bring this up. And then we'll just kind of show you and do a little demo. First, before I do that, I didn't show you how this operates. So to turn this on, you just do, okay, there's what they call a long press and a longer long press. <laughs> I'll explain. So if you just long press, and then turn it on. Of course, it gives you status and turns on the flashlight. And you can cycle through your settings. Always starts on low, but it goes through all four eco, low, medium, high, as you can see there. And then you off. Now, a neat thing is to get to the red mode, longer press, it goes to red. Now, if you notice, it goes to white and then to red. If you're worried about your night vision, what I would do is just cover this. Hold on a second. Cover it. Hold it. There you go. And you kind of block the white light from interfering with your, 
your eyes. So there you are. That's a pretty cool setup. I'm liking that. Um, well, it took my wife a while to figure that out. She turned it on and I go, okay, long press turn off. So she long pressed it and it went right to red. I told her you just got to wait till light goes out and then let go. <laughs> Loving that. And of course that status LED comes on every time you turn the light on also. Yeah. So there you go. Let's go ahead and we'll turn it on to the low setting. I'm liking that. We'll do a little demo and show you different colors and then we'll do final thoughts. So let's go ahead and turn these lights off. Okay, so this is on low. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you can see it's got a bluish tint. I'm trying to bring it in. <clears throat> Excuse me. The camera. And you'll see it, it's lighting up pretty nice. Nice broad beam. I'm liking that. Let's go ahead and cycle this up. So now we are on medium 80 lumens. Of course, the camera's adjusting. This is high, 260 lumens. So we'll aim it up at the ceiling. Eco, low, medium, and high. Now the ceiling, of course, is about five feet up from the table. Gives you a general idea of how it's lighting up the room. It does a pretty decent job. All right, so we're gonna go back down to low. And we'll do the tip here. So let's see. This one here, you gotta press. It starts out eco. This one remembers um, last setting, which is nice. Let's turn it on. This is the mode. That's right. So I'm trying to see what the different modes are. So it's it's low. is uh, It's got like a really low mode, like an ultra low uh, mode to it. It's got medium, high, and turbo. So ultra low is one lumen. Medium is 35. High is 150. So we're going to go, we're going to put it to 150 here. Okay, that's high. And then what we'll do is we'll do, okay, so I have the, so on my right hand side, the Phoenix. We'll put that on its 80 lumens. So I'll bring them in. See, they have really similar light. They look identical. Now, in person, the brightness, of course, on the night core is a little bit brighter, but the uh, the Phoenix looks fantastic, uh, but the beam pattern looks identical between these two flashlights. Just absolutely amazing. The night core might spot a little bit as you get closer to the table, as you can see because it does not have TIR optics as standard reflector. So there you are. A little bit more throw probably too. Okay, what we're gonna do here is I'm going to uh, yeah, just get an idea for color. We're gonna go turbo on this bad boy. Okay, so now this is turbo. This is 360 lumens. And then we'll go to the highest setting on here. Okay, we're at the highest on the Phoenix. Bringing them in, in with the ceiling. So yeah, they both seem to perform pretty well. They'll tell you that um, a lot of times the, that little extra 50 lumens, 100 lumens, as long as if it's not doubling, you're not going to notice a big difference. So, but yeah, there we go, both on high. Amazing. So we're going to go ahead and turn off the tip. This guy's going off. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and go red mode. That's cool. Yeah, live on that. So get your four lumens, runs five and a half hours. This is fantastic. Bright. You can see everything on the table. I'm loving it. And of course, you press it again. Okay, let's do that again. Close to red and tap it once. Short press. This will do your beacon mode. That's nice to have. Doesn't give you run time, but uh, expect quite a few hours on that. I imagine double the run time of the normal. So that's how you cycle the mode for the red. Just tap it. Short press. Okay, let's go ahead and go back to white. Let's see what I'm doing. Turn my lights back on. We'll do final thoughts on the Phoenix E03R. Type C rechargeable multi mode keychain flashlight. Yes. <laughs> Love when this little guy's getting a little warm. I feel it might start throttling soon. Uh, very cool. Loving this. This is so awesome. All right. So there you go. He's going to get used to the long press and longer long press. <laughs> and then not too long press to turn it off. But uh, there you go. Kind of give you an idea again what this looks like. So what, is this worth 25 bucks? Heck yes. I mean, the reason why I say heck yes is because, all right, so you can see these two flashlights. I'll bring it back down. Nightcore tip represents amazing value. Okay, it does. 360 lumen turbo. I mean, can't beat that. The sharp stick. Okay, got my short press. I'm trying to remember these controls on this one. Um, but if you look, it's got a seam. And it's got screws holding it together. That's kind of cool because you could probably take it apart and possibly change the battery. Some people will be excited about that. But it feels light. This is actually heavier. <laughs> this has a smaller battery, 
but the metal thickness is much thicker. It just has a very substantial feel to it. Um, you feel like you're holding something very, very premium in your hand here with this Phoenix, and I believe this will outlast this here. You got a metal power switch versus the uh, rubber caps there. I know the newer version of this has a, um, what do you call it, a clip that goes over that and blocks that. Um, but that uh, just gives an idea of what's available, what's out there. I like how this is, you know, CNC milled in there, the little keychain spot, instead of just some extra bars attached. That's important too to me. Um, so overall quality for the same price and having red LED mode makes this a winner all day long in my book. Definitely check out the E03R Phoenix. I'll have links down below in the description. I know you guys like my videos. <laughs> so if you enjoyed this one, give me a big like. You guys are the best. Two, if you like Phoenix brand, which I do, they're just expensive, so price of admission gets to be a little harder. But this isn't too bad at its price point. That's why I bought it uh, and what it does. Um, you know, Let me know and hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos. Um, give me some model numbers that I haven't reviewed yet. Keep it under 30 bucks, and I'll definitely check them out. <laughs> Anything higher in price, I'm eventually going to get to those. But for right now, I like practical. And uh, three, comment below what you think about the E03R. How do you like this? Do you think it's pretty awesome? I'm really digging it. I'm really liking this. Get the red going. Yeah. Party mood on. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.